Hey guys, Adam here, Dueling Designs. That was the first uh, cutting with one of the new Hypertherm Sink consumables. I have the adapter to put it on the PowerMax torch. Um, so these two pieces basically turn that into boom. One piece consumable compared to a shield, um, a retaining shield, uh, the nozzle, the electrode, the swirl ring, all of that is in there. Everything's all perfect. There's no springs to grow or shrink and change your clearances and your cut. The cut seems really consistent from the first part to the last part. Uh, the cut quality seems on par with the other consumables. Uh, I had a little more slag, but I think you know that's probably just in settings and height and speed and those things so that'll just take a little time to uh to tweak i wasn't really looking for that though i wasn't really looking for cut quality or speed what i was looking for and what i got is there were not a single 030 error not one 030 error across the whole board for people that don't know that you get a little bit of blowback i don't know if you can see up in this nozzle but there's an aluminum blowback up in there so i was cutting aluminum yesterday it blew up in there and then my torch senses that it pulls itself up and it says hey you got a problem so when i want to be standing over at the grinding bench or at my press break or sweeping or cleaning or outside playing with my dog i can't because i'm always worried about the table you know having an air and stopping i gotta come in and restart it so i didn't do that at all i made it through every set all of them um, the only cut it sucked on I was playing with the air pressure while it was cutting and then it went bad so if you saw that in the video and then I had to go back and restart that one that was all me other than that it cut well and I mean it, it looks brown still it looks fine it looks like it's ready to go some more so um, I, I think these are going to be awesome for the production world. Um, I think if you're cutting the same thicknesses, you know, consistently all day, you know, you're not forgetting to change consumables and this and that, I think they'll be great. I think it'll still be good to have some of the old stuff on hand for that experimental stuff that you're unsure about because it sure sucked to kill a $50 consumable, and, you know, instead of a $12 nozzle. So I would keep both on hand, you know, I'm, I'm excited for everything. I want to try the uh, fine cut and uh, really get it tweaked. And I bet for my production, I will probably switch to these. So I'm pumped. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you get to play with some more of them. Later.